And tonight, the Red Cross is helping people affected by the storms. The organization is set up at the Lowe's along International Speedway Boulevard, providing meals, water, and tarps. New 6's Troy Campbell is there with the details on the relief and the rescue efforts tonight. You can see the Red Cross is set up right here behind me. They tell me they're going to use buses to go into the neighborhoods to bring people out. They can come here to this Lowe's parking lot, fill out the necessary forms so they can receive benefits such as a place to stay tonight. This is the National Weather Service says they plan to send a crew here to confirm if it in fact was a tornado. We had a significant event and we were lucky enough to not have anyone get severely injured and, and that's that's great. Volusia County Fire Rescue Acting Division Chief Cara Hahn yeah. says her crews assess as many as 200 homes along six blocks in North Deland, saying many of them have significant damage and even left people trapped inside after the storm. Right, there was uh, multiple downed power lines and downed trees in the area. Um, we did have four children that were in a house that um, they were fine, they were uninjured, but they were stuck in their house due to a tree being down. Raymond Brothers says his 99-year-old mother was inside of her home on Pine Street when the storm hit. Well, they're taking my mom uh, to load her up to a vehicle so she can go to my place to stay because the house obviously is going to be condemned. He says his family inside described the frightening moments. She just told me, beside all the roaring noise, that one of the doors to one of the bedrooms, which they had closed, was shaking, and she was afraid it was going to come open. The National Weather Service saying the possible unconfirmed tornado hit just after 4 p.m. and will rate the storm's intensity when their crews get on the ground Wednesday. The National Weather Service also says at one point about 11,000 residents were without electricity. However, Fire Rescue tells me that number has since decreased. Again, with the Red Cross here, they say they will stay here throughout the night until they have helped all of the residents who have been affected. In Deland, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6. Troy, thank you.